What's up guys, Pete Moriarty here and in this video covering do I still need an antivirus in 2018? Great question from Ron, thanks very much for answering, uh, thanks very much for asking, sorry. And uh, let's talk about antivirus. Uh, it's 2018 and viruses have kind of taken a backseat to a couple of other digital threats that are happening now. Now one of those is phishing, where someone steals your information through a fake email, right? So that might be a fake bank email, might be a fake email from the tax office. Uh, you click on that and you go to a page which looks like your uh, uh, your login page to Google or to your bank or to wherever you put in your details and then you know they start draining your accounts or stealing your identity now number two is the crypto locker this one's really bad it's also called ransomware and that is when your computer becomes encrypted all the files get locked down and you have to pay a ransom of some sort whether it be a Bitcoin or something else to actually get the code to unencrypt all of your files they're, they've been around for a couple of years now and they're getting pretty nasty the traditional virus which uh, you know destroys apps on your computer, starts to serve you ads and pop-ups. Um, yeah, sure, some of them would try and steal your information or log your keystrokes, uh, but the kind of older school viruses have taken a bit of a backseat to these two new threats. So do you still need antivirus software on your computer? Yes, it's still a good idea if you're on a Windows machine or if you're on a Mac. So uh, on a Windows machine, they're the most susceptible Macs to a much lesser extent, but there are still Mac viruses also. But if you are on a Chromebook, uh, you're going to be fine. Don't need to worry about it because uh, there are no known viruses. There are some vulnerabilities in Chrome, but no known major viruses uh, on Chrome OS to warrant installing antivirus software on a Chromebook. Now, what about mobiles? That's an interesting question and people ask us about that. Um, there are third party solutions which can kill, uh, help keep your mobile locked down, um, that can you know monitor your browsing and those kind of things. If you're on iOS, I probably wouldn't bother. Um, I'd be careful with uh, you know the apps that you're downloading. I wouldn't jailbreak the device or anything like that. Not really necessary these days. But iOS is pretty darn tight because the APIs are all very uh, tightly controlled by Apple. On an Android device, you may consider it, but I don't personally bother. Um, if you are downloading apps from the Google Play Store, if you're on Android, uh, most apps now are Google verified. So there's a, a Play Store Protect. It's a verification process for apps that apps go through uh, and Google kind of okays them before they then go into the App Store. And if you're only downloading popular apps like Instagram and you know Google's suite of apps and uh, you know maybe Facebook and uh, maybe your bank app and those kind of things, you're probably going to be safe. Uh, if you're the kind of person who downloads third-party apps or random apps from the internet from outside of the Google Play App Store, then you might consider an antivirus solution. But if not, you're probably going to be fine. So how do you protect yourself against crypto locker and phishing uh, on a local machine? Let's say you've got a Windows machine or you've got a Mac and you want to protect your desktop, that's a good idea. Uh, the recommended solution that we have is called WebRoot uh, and that's cloud-based antivirus software. Now what that does, well it's kind of cloud hybrid. What that does is it uh, does most of the thinking and the threat analytics in the cloud online so it doesn't use up so much of the energy of your local machine. Uh, and then what it does is it delivers those uh, updates and analytics multiple times a day down to your local computer, which means that it's quite a lightweight load on the local machine. Most of the hard work is being done in the cloud, like everything these days, uh, and it means that you still get really good protection from uh, crypto lockers and from phishing. And WebRoot in particular is one of the best rated solutions to actually protect you against those crypto locker viruses. It's not completely infallible. Uh, there are still ways that you can, you know, if you open up an email attachment and, and the, the scanner doesn't quite get to it, you, you know, you force open in that document in Outlook, for example, uh, then you can still get a computer that's crypto locked. So what do you do? If you still have that potential risk of having a crypto lock virus hit your computer, how do you protect against that? Now, um, backup is of course important, but I these days I don't really recommend a local backup. They're a little bit hard to manage. No one remembers to plug in the USB drive and to do it. Uh, you know, every now and again, when something does go wrong, you're gonna go, oh crap, I haven't backed up in the last two months. And for business owners that like to move around quite a lot, it's just a little bit of a pain. Also, times that by 20, if you've got 20 staff and 20 computers in the office, gets a little bit messy. So the philosophy that I have instead is put everything into your Google G Suite. So Google Drive, Google Docs, um, have even your, you know, if you've got Microsoft files still hanging around in the business, that's fine. Put them all into Google Drive and then protect your Google account. Because if your local desktop is backed up to Google using Google Backup and Sync, if all of your files are sitting inside of Google Drive, then you're able to basically just back up that Google suite and then you've got everything taken care of. So if a crypto locker hits you, if a phishing attack hits you, um, then you're more likely to be protected within the Google ecosystem. So what tool do we use for that? That is Backupify. And I've done a separate video on Backupify which I will happily link below for you guys so you can learn about how that helps protect your data 
when you're utilizing G Suite. Now you might be saying, well, Pete, what about phishing? How do I stop myself from clicking on a bad link and having that open up and me potentially put my information into there? Well, phishing with your Google account, if you switch on two-factor authentication, uh, then two-factor authentication will actually protect 99% of the phishing problems um, that happen when someone tries to get into your Google account. I can't protect you, unfortunately, from going to a site that looks like your bank site and putting in your bank details. You're gonna have to be vigilant with that one. Um, but Google spam filtering does a pretty darn good job of uh, filtering out most phishing attempts. Uh, and also you have the added protection of two-factor authentication on your Google account, which is available for free uh, if you uh, need to protect your Google account, which we strongly, strongly recommend. All right, cool. Quick recap, do you still need antivirus on a Mac and on a PC? Probably a good idea. On a mobile device, you're probably gonna be fine as long as you're using popular apps from either the iOS or the Android App Store. Um, if you are interested in uh, antivirus for your Mac or your PC, WebRoot, my team can help uh, get you hooked up with that. So just send us a message down below and we'll be more than happy to help out with that. Or you can visit itgenius.com and our team will get in touch. Uh, but if you wanna get everything backed up in your cloud world inside of G Suite, we recommend Backupify and that's gonna help get everything sorted there. Till next time, catch you later. Leave any comments right below the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.